Hand him over. No, wait, wait, I don't... Two months after this gunfight, Virgil Ork was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the West until death caught up with him, <clears throat> with him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky was Wyatt's kid brother Morgan. He was shot in the back and killed playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19th, 1882. It was his brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, after a lifetime of drinking and smoking, well, tuberculosis caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> now, Wyatt Earp was the last man standing out of all this. He'd spend his days traveling. He'd make his way from Idaho to Alaska, finally ending up in Jazz Age Hollywood, searching for another tombstone and the chance to make things right again. Now, he never would find it, but Wyatt died in Los Angeles in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday. His final words, suppose, suppose, that, folks, was our show. We hope you enjoyed it.